What's up guys, this is the Brofman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So the round off where we left it off last time, I am about to assault the city of Strasbourg and we outnumber them significantly. So I don't see this being that much of a problem. Um, they just have large numbers of, of second class troops, which is what makes the numbers seem a bit more balanced than you think they would be. But let's fight. So this is to, to win. Because Strasbourg's quite a quite a nice position. It's quite a nicely developed city in quite a good position. So I'm very, very, very looking forward to having this sort of uh, base of operations from which to drive eastward. There are a lot of offensive action against our former allies. Yep, so the French are going to deploy in a defensive position. So we use six pounders and nine pounders. So what does the range on my nine pounders look like? Yep, so my nine pounders are going to sit at the rear, providing fire. My nine pounders, sorry, my six pounders are going to move up probably to somewhere like here if possible, but probably not likely that they'll make that much of a deal. Um <clears throat> let's pick. Solid block of line infantry that will advance on the left. And then let's get who's on the left? Militia, Fusiliers. Let's keep my light infantry out on the left in the woods, or well, you know, in the open field. Then let's get the remainder of my line infantry and the Borough Highlanders and the King's German Legion to advance on the right. Good. And my nine pounders, sorry. Okay, let's hold fire with the nine pounders for now. When attacking an enemy with I've not moved any of my generally get into the melee combat as quickly as possible. I didn't even deploy my arrow, it says I got way too keen. Where's the range on a howitzer? 550. Yeah, you need to move up to about here, probably. It's the walls in my cavalry, move up in the centre. Six pounders, they will be trying to head up into this position, but I doubt. Ooh. All my infantry needs to run a rapid all. Engage their, their artillery battery too. To be honest, I may end up getting into a position where I would accept this as a valid deployment zone. Let's try to get you guys to curl out a little bit more on the flank. That way we can stretch these guys out a bit more. Not maximising firepower at all in my centre units. I was planning on being able to be a bit more offensive. I didn't expect them to, to charge up into me. To be honest, you're probably... Our general is under attack. These bounders are going after Wellesley. There we go. These, this unit is, be, is it going to be the first to see a French column, sir. A veteran French column as well. This fuse the other line unit is going to get absolutely chewed up. It's really is a beautiful game. The rest of our lines are engaging. Let's go. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. is engaging. The left flank is broken. But there is a militia garrison unit coming this way, so you guys set up there to cover that flank. Let's do something akin to this. Let's get the Howards are working on the column. Got good sight. Good. The sixth regiment of foot does have good line of sight on the militia garrison. These guys running to point blank range to be executed. Poor buggers. Good. That flank is broken. them, they're only armed citizenry. <coughs> the is doing a reasonable job of counter battery, good, the armed citizenry have broken. Let's deploy these guys up in this sort of position. And that means get these guys to start hitting some of their other positions. This single unit will probably be able to handle that militia unit. Well, it would be able to normally, but let alone this terrible firing formation they've got set up. Form square. Engage the artillery. Let's keep pushing up. Let's get you in on the cavalry as well. Where's my cavalry? Here you come. These two secure the crest of the hill. Let's get the Highlanders to face off against these guys. Let's move you up. Let's move you up. Oh, these guys are slightly in a little bit of a dip. General's been killed. Column of attack. They've stayed in rather good shape. There we go. <clears throat> Massed firepower onto the militia unit. Artillery hitting the French column. Lots of troops dying. Good, then all of my artillery work on this French square. Mm -hmm, they're slow, they are slow. They're actually managing to reform, so. Keep advancing, and I'm going to turn, redirect my howitzer. Skirmish at the chasseurs. 
these guys form up as reserve with firing them off. Engage the cavalry. Be very careful with my cavalry. Just run them out of our position, I suppose. I'm hiding underfoot. Haven't lost a man because the militia are all aiming at the flank of this infantry. back and make them walk around the barriers. Good. These guys shouldn't take long to break. Very thing my Highlanders have taken is a good opportunity to start farming kills. It's not the only ones that's left. The fuselage of the line are there, so you get all my artillery to start hitting them. To the real target. I'm about to walk within musket range. Just a bit of, on a bit of a defilade. And that's enough. One volley to send them packing. Same with this militia garrison. Wonderful. End of there. Wonderful victory for Wellesley, who's let yet to lose the French fort, French position to the east, which I would very much like to capture. Such veteran artillery I'm getting as well. Peacefully occupy. How much loot? Eh. Yes, occupy. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sucker. I don't like to break stuff too much. My spy on to Stuttgart. Ooh, knowing that the Prussians are God, the Prussians are gonna be a hell of a hell of a beast to tackle. So you're on the move, you're replenishing. John Moore, go knock out Jean Francois Barrett. As well keep him on the move because this region can deal with being left alone now. Can Paris be left alone? Two turns. Two turns in theory is fine. But I still might recruit a dragoon to take their take their position. A lot of cavalry. Hey, there's Bonaparte. Bonaparte's in Brussels. Bernie's bent for Brussels again. Oh, that's a cool unit. Is that blue comb? Yeah, it's Gephard von Blucher. So I'd very much like to replenish this arm. Well, effectively, I want this, is what I want. They just need to move. They need to move on and hit Stuttgart because ultimately. It's not long before uh, France is knocked out of the game. So Alsace Lorraine is captured. A courageous leader, John Moore. Plus three morale for knocking out that small little unit of stragglers. I think everything seems to be okay. 34,000 next turn. The question is, will the Prussians move on Stuttgart? I sincerely hope they don't. 
I want to have that opportunity to secure the city myself. But the Prussians are going to be a mighty, mighty, mighty powerful enemy to, to try and defeat. They've taken Castle. I fear for the safety of Denmark. I fear it. Oh, there are naturally occurring resources in this region that are not currently being exploited. Yeah. Development in these areas so now. killed one of my generals. Someone's killed one of my generals, and this hasn't done. This hasn't helped. Okay, let's move you back out and move you back in. Good God, I'd have to replace you with... Let's see, a cavalry, cavalry. Must be George, George de Dryberg. Come on, George. Agent executes. I'm a, I'm a Dieu Cordé. Well, that's one of theirs, wasn't it? It's a Frenchman. Well, maybe it was the damn French that killed my general. Drill school. I definitely want you. Top quality infantry for everyone, please. Probably want to do this, this, and this. And probably this. And that. Musket manufacturing would be most useful. Let's take Wellesley on to go take Stuttgart. Maintain for now. Let me just figure out what other stuff I've got going on. Come on, Henry Clinton, your army is. Your army is unbloodied in battle. So if I do this, and then this. For some reason, they didn't go this way. Maybe because it was that chap. Or do I attack with Bob Crawford and call you in as reserves? That's a potential, but I'm not going to fight that yet. Instead, I'm going to fight down in Stuttgart. I also probably want to put John Moore well, when I've captured this region on this bridge ready to jump on Cleves because that's quite quite devastating. Henry de la Boer, lots of militia. At some point I'm going to want to bring this army down south but only once they've replenished. We send him to go down to hit the Papal States because the Papal States are allied with the Kingdom of Naples. So that could allow me. Well, once I knock out, I hit the French, and then I hit the Kingdom of Sardinia because they're not allied with anyone important, are they? Nope, they trade with everyone, but they're not allied with anyone. So I can take Sardinia, take Corsica, then I can make the decision on do I move on the Italian peninsula because I would like that because then I've got two bottlenecks on the coast one here in the Baltic. And then the other bottleneck beyond the Portuguese, this little problem here, I'll control every port and this will be my choke point. Well, these two bits will be my choke points. Hello, Greece. You seem to be doing rather well. Okay, let's make sure my agents are on the move. Ah, okay, everyone, everyone can get a drill school. And let's get an ordnance board. Cool. I'm probably going to want to enlist an, enlist another general. In which case, I'll probably wait three turns. And let's get, let's get Brerisford. Just get, oh god, his eyes, his pupils are black in that page. He looks evil. Yep, he's a riding master, but we'll soon make him good at commanding infantry. Ooh. Lots of ships in the English Channel. Caledonia, Illustrious, and Ceres. Ceres. Good. Build up that navy. Court of Appeals in Dublin. That's Dublin. Maxed out. Piedmont can do with some infrastructure. White Swans, he's got their steam power factory. Good. She must be absolutely raking it in London, growing 102 gold per turn. 
ports are exploding. Cool. Well, not literally exploding, obviously. But yeah, seven turns until I get my beloved 95th rifles. And then, oh yeah, how goes the upgrading of colleges? Florence being upgraded. Schleswig is being upgraded. And Oxford is being upgraded. But not for many, many turns. So it's tempting with this guy, Michael Stowell, to win the war, well, to, to fall back, effectively, and build a fort, maybe here, to defend, help defend Copenhagen, because I fear Sweden doing something tricky. The Russians are definitely someone to keep an eye out for. Trouble is, none of these guys are at war with each other, so they're all at war against France. Oh no, the Austrians are only against the Batavians, the Prussians are against the French. Russians, the Batavians and the French. Okay, so the interesting things will happen once we've knocked out the French, because then it will be a bit of an uneasy calm on Europe. Playing with Wellesley, let's hit Stuttgart and create a formal front row. Pretty sure we should be fine. But yes, it's going to be interesting having Wellesley on the front lines. I would absolutely love to kill Blucher. Although, I doubt he dies. I doubt he's fine. I suspect he's fine. Heaven forbid people have any lasting problems. Okay, so the same, the same as before. Nine pounders are probably in, posi in, probably in range. So here's probably as good a place as any. Yep, they're all lovely in range, so you can just sit there. And artillery is going to move up, or some artillery is going to move up to this ridge line here. You can fire it all off for now. And let's pick a fairly dependable front line, because like these chaps did not have a full chance to replenish. So let's put guards, guards, another foot unit on the right. Then these two foot and a light on the left. How it says they're going to advance up with you. Elzy and the cavalry are going to sit here. I'm actually sitting here. Then we're ready to rock and roll. So you move up to there. My infantry line. in a bit of a dip. It's manageable. How it says move up to this patch of broken ground here. The general miles of the advance. Now my artillery can fire at will. Yep, their artillery is coming in and it's targeting infantry on the left. But our first shots are going to lob in to try hit their artillery. Okay, let's barrage these guys. So they've knocked out here. Knocked out one of my gun teams. Let's triple speed it a minute. Okay, hold on. Run, run, run. I absolutely want them to get into position before they have a chance to do 
anything too sneaky. And that's a lovely firing position from artillery. That hill, less so. But in general, there you go. It provides them a bit of a bit of defilade from, from cannonballs, except for ones that bounce around. So the right flank is going to engage first. So I think I'm going to want to Okay, wow, well, they're starting they're, they're just running at me. Halt and limber and just open up because they've just they've just sprinted at me. has checked their push on the left resulting in absolute destruction of a um, citizenry unit oh wow they've got a strong push going these guys try to fall back left at a very inopportune moment. So they're charging squares, so that's not very good for them. But... Come on, you silly fellows. Swiss line infantry of getting a bayonet charge off. Oh, they returned. Are my longer guns still hitting them. They're doing damage, but they're not. support from my artillery has done the job. Let's get my light infantry in the tree line, start to skirmish with their artillery. God, this is just a rout. The poor French troops. The Swiss line infantry look rather good. Pouring fire into armed citizenry. So let's get my six pounders on the hill to also engage in the sport of going after their artillery. Now it says pound that square formation. There you go, skirmishing with artillery. That's a militia garrison unit that looks rather unmauled. Look at that. That's a rout. And this poor first regiment of foot French garrison. Let's get my six pounders to target the militia garrison. My howitzers are in range, so they're going to join in too. Um, citizenry are coming back. So let's get my line infantry up to the edge. Let's also push up with God, that is an absolute rout. Oh, 
all militaries out of range of that. Engaging the old citizenry. Just to advance up my line. This horse artillery is very brave. We have taken the building, sir. Damn right we have. The first thing we do is bash the hell out of their building, their windows. Run the fifth and the eighth up into position. And there you go, the opposite are oh, taking a right hammering. Not very good firepower out of this unit. Say to me, take what we can get. So let's hold fire all of my artillery and let my infantry do the work. These poor, poor souls. There we go. I think that's everyone. Excellent. This crusade of Wellesley has secured two of the funds to support any sort of real force that can actually um, stand up. The 280 lost for a total victory. Oh, who do I want? The city of Württemberg. Okay. I'm going to liberate Stuttgart. It may form a useful ally. I just liberate Württemberg, Stuttgart, and you are my ally. And I can replenish in your territory. That's critical. Ooh, and you've given me some some troops. British Dutch flankers and foot nine infantry. The ninety third. Get on that hill. Seems like a themey place to put you. You can stay here for now. And then take bomb, call for Orford, and then we're going to assault Brussels. Actually, is this their last? It is, because they lost Castle. This is their last. This is their last territory. So, we're going to finally destroy the French. And they've got lots and lots and lots of Lancer cavalry. Solid infantry, but they do have Bonaparte, so they might be thickly ones. But looking at the timer, that's definitely the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the final, destru final destruction of the Republican French Empire. Thanks, guys.